Saturday, September 26th, President Trump announced Amy Coney Barrett as his nominee to the Supreme Court in the Rose Garden. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement. Monday, September 28th, President Trump appeared on the South Lawn to talk about a new electric pickup truck next to Lordstown Motors CEO Steve Burns. The motor's engines are in the wheels. The president also held a coronavirus update in the Rose Garden with Vice President Mike Pence, members of Congress, and state officials, including two Texas lawmakers. Tuesday, September 29th, President Trump, the First Lady, and staff, including senior advisor Hope Hicks, flew to Cleveland on Air Force One. By the way, he doesn't know how. That night, it was reported both President Trump and Joe Biden were tested for the virus before the presidential debate. However, on Friday afternoon, Chris Wallace reported that President Trump arrived at the debate too late to get his COVID-19 test. Wednesday, September 30th, President Trump flew to Minnesota, where he had a private campaign event before a rally at a local airport. Hello, everybody. Hello, Duluth. That night, Hope Hicks started showing coronavirus symptoms. She was quarantined during the Air Force flight back to D.C. Thursday, October 1st, in the morning, Hope Hicks tested positive for COVID-19, but it wasn't known until Thursday night when a reporter broke the story on Twitter. By that time, President Trump had already departed for New Jersey, where he held a fundraiser with several aides who had been in close contact with Hicks. 9.44, Thursday night, President Trump confirmed Hicks tested positive and that he and the First Lady were in quarantine awaiting test results. Six minutes before midnight Texas time, the president confirms he and Melania tested positive for coronavirus. The World Health Organization says on average, it takes five to six days for someone to show symptoms after being exposed to the virus. For the president, that would be around Saturday or Sunday. Five people who went to the president's Supreme Court nominee event back on Saturday, September 26, have since tested positive for coronavirus, including Notre Dame President Father John Jenkins and Utah Senator Mike Lee. Then late Friday afternoon, President Trump was moved to Walter Reed Army Medical Center on the advice from doctors. And that's a look back at the week leading up to the president's coronavirus diagnosis.